guys thanks for coming back to my youtube channel welcome today i'm gonna show you how i made this awesome card wrap i used printables from anncorbierscottdesigns.com this is specifically the lauren printable which is all succulent themed i absolutely love it it's pretty cool and i printed on vellum so i used like some heavyweight vellum I printed it just on my inkjet printer at home. I heat set it and then I actually let it sit overnight just because I didn't want to take any chances with it. So when you print it, it's just a PDF. I actually went to AnnCorbierScottDesigns.com and she has quite a few of them which are pretty neat. They're only a couple dollars and you get a whole entire PDF. And a PDF will make at least three cards and it has sentiments with it too. So it's a pretty good deal. And you can print it as many times as you want. So it's not just like a one-time thing. You download it and it's yours. So I printed mine off. I am currently coloring with the Faber-Castell Polychromos colored pencils. I like them a lot. They're oil-based. The only thing that was kind of difficult while I was coloring this was the tendency for the colored pencils to smear. And it wasn't necessarily smear like markers do on glossy paper, but it smeared a little bit just because there was so much pigment from the colored pencils that didn't really get into the paper because the vellum isn't super porous. So it was a lot of like swiping pencil lead crumbs off, which I'm okay with. And there were a couple smears on mine, like especially in that little reddish purple area. And even when I wrapped it and I heat set it, you'll see later on at the end that I did have a couple green smears up there by those plants that I'm coloring right now. It didn't really bother me that much, and in the finished product, you can't really see it anyway. The only way you would see it is if I actually pointed it out to you and said, like, hey, this is where I messed up, which I guess I kind of just did by telling you that, but it's okay. You just have to pretend like it's not there. After I was done coloring everything, I grabbed a pair of my Cutter B scissors and I cut it out. You'll see me holding it down there against that white piece of paper, just like that. And really the only reason I'm doing that is just because I want to check to make sure that black outline is completely cut off. I really want that white to stick out and I think it'd look a little bit sloppy if I just left that black outline on there. If you want to do that, that's cool with you. It's your thing. And again, here I'm just checking to make sure I got all those little black pieces off because I really didn't want them showing up. I just finished cutting this out just with regular scissors. I didn't use a trimmer or anything like that. And this white piece of paper back here um, is just to make it a little bit easier to see on top of my mat here. So I just had that under there to make it a little bit easier. I found some candles at the Dollar Tree last time I was there, and I bought two of them. This one's already unwrapped. It's the one that I'm planning on using for this technique. It's just a white, unscented pillar candle, and this is what it looked like when it was wrapped up and on the shelf. It has just like this little thing over the top. This one, I couldn't find another white one so this one is a chestnut clove scented kind of like a cream color and both of mine did have like little divots on them but i'm not too concerned about that so next steps here we go i have just some regular old wax paper that you use in your kitchen that i'm going to use next for this step of my candle wrapping process. Taken my printable, I've cut it out. I might actually have to end up trimming it again. I put a little piece of tape right here on the end of this side and I am just going to take this printable and wrap it around my candle. Just like this. And because my candle is a little bit bigger down at the base of the candle than it is at the top of the candle. My wrap isn't going to be perfect. So you can see right here at the end of it that it's overlapping up here and open up down here. The way that I'm going to combat that I think is I'm just going to cut this unevenly. So I'll leave this here but I'll cut like a triangle out of it. So I'll cut from here up to over here and then it'll make a little triangle and hopefully it'll meet here just a little bit better. And honestly, I'm not even gonna take it off my candle to do it, I'm just gonna take my scissors and bam, chop it.
I have my candle wrapped now. I've taped it and you can see this is the chunk that I cut out and you can see that it kind of has a more even seam here now. So what I'm going to do now is I just have this piece of wax paper and the only reason I'm using it is because I don't want to get candle wax all over my hands. So I'm just going to take this piece of wax paper and kind of hold my candle with it. And then also I'm kind of hoping that some of this wax from the wax paper will rub off onto here and kind of seal the pencil in just a little bit, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to start right here on this edge and with my heat tool I'm just going to heat the candle up just a little bit so the wax melts and grabs a hold of this and you, I'll use this just to kind of press it into the candle. The wax paper trick worked exactly how I wanted it to. You can kind of see it changing colors right there a little bit. What's happening is my heat tool is heating it up warm enough to transfer the wax from the wax paper onto the vellum where my succulents are colored. And as it's doing that, it's kind of sealing in that colored pencil a little bit, which is pretty cool. So what, I just continued the process a few times, heating it up and pulling that wax paper off and making sure the vellum was sticking down to the candle the whole entire way. I would love it if you made some of these and tagged me on Instagram so I can see what you come up with. You can go to annecorbierscottdesigns.com because there are so many different PDFs that you can download, and every single slimline card will work as a candle wrap. I hope you have a wonderful, crafty day. I'll see you next time.